Okay, people. Today we are going to be installing the Maximus 3 tow loops and braces. Started doing a little bit because I was measuring for winch plates and such, but I'll catch up more in a minute. Right now we're just going to take off the bumper and a skid plate. Bumper has four bolts on each side and a plug on the passenger side for the lights, fog lights, and then we'll look at putting in these plates. The box for the tow plates and the brace reinforcement, these right here are the tow loops. These are the braces. They go on the other side of the frame so you don't have to worry about any splitting or anything that could happen. I'm planning on maybe using those for pulling if I needed to and I am going to be pulling behind an RV so I want to put the braces on there. So we'll catch back up here in a minute after I get the skid plate and the bumper off and start seeing about dry fitting and where these things go. The instructions for the tow loops are okay. The braces are lacking. It's just four pictures, so I'm not even sure how they really fit in. If you see here, there's no bumper brace, and it never says in instructions to remove it, but on the inside there is one, this piece right here, and on the outside there is one. And although it doesn't say remove this, it's going to have to be removed. So let's, this part right here, the bumper brace. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Go. So we got it on. I had to try and determine which one of these went on which side, but the one with the indentations here, because here's where the bumper connects. So you can try and tighten down those bumpers. The smaller top one here is a smaller bolt and it threads straight into the frame. And then there's a larger one that goes down here in the bottom and it needs a washer on there. I'll show that in a second. And then what you're supposed to do is go through this hole with the nut and tighten it down on either side. All right, guys, so in this case, my mistake is your fortunate blessing. So, like I said, if you take these panels off that go right here, and I'm looking at the passenger side, so this is on the inside, and then if you go up in this hole, right there, you can see that nut, and then that's, you can grab it with a ratchet if you can, or with the wrench is best. And that way you can hold that nut in there and if anything falls you can get it out of here just another little tip in order to get those screws up under there for the tow loops which is a few inches up I just take a piece of tape on the back of the wrench and then put the screw in there and hold it and then thread it with my fingers and then tighten it all the way down so now there's six eight washers there are four that are real thick those go as spacers for the bumper and then we have two of the washers thankfully their bolts are two different sizes the smaller one threads into the top hole the bigger one goes with the nut on the bottom and the washers fit on each bolt individually in other words <clears throat> the smaller washer won't fit on the big bolt so we know where they all go so i'm gonna leave this loose this is just here to help me hold it for a second and now we're going to look at the brace plates and see where those go. Okay, so we're deciphering again with the pictures. And up on the top, which is going to be this one right here, we're going to drill a half inch, and this bolt is going to go all the way through with a brace sticking in here and in here. So that half inch, my finger right there, will go all the way through. Then we're going to drill the threaded part, which held on the Bumper stops will go all the way through right here. We're going to more or less drill out the threads and this will go all the way through and then on this side and so note uh, for that half inch right here you got to drill it on both sides so it's hollow in between you just drill it on both sides you're good you could possibly use a reamer or a step bit I went ahead and bought a half inch just because then there's also this little screw in the back that screws into the brace plate that you slide in probably just for holding it I guess and then you have this nice big uh, it's at least a half inch bolt that replaces the one down at the bottom so if you're curious about this if you're gonna put in the brace plates you're gonna have to take them all the way off and you're replacing you're putting this new bolt in replacing this one and replacing this bottom one and if you're gonna do it you know, I'd see you taking the whole thing off so these are tight 
to fit in here, right? You're going to have to do some wiggling to get them in there and watch your grill to make sure you don't mess it up. So let's get to drilling and loose fit and we'll see what we got. We've drilled all our holes, half inch on that top one and 7 16 here. Now my 7 16 would not cut into those threads. I had, it's a brand new Milwaukee, but I had used it to put on my sliders and cut through the steel. I don't know if it's dull or just the bit wasn't catching on the threads, but I had a, you know, a three-fourths metal reamer, and I just did both sides, and we're all good. All these holes now line up just right, so the dry fit is good. And we also have the other side done, half inch here, seven sixteenths there. Right, half inch there, seven sixteenths. I'm gonna make this little cardboard cut out, give them a little spray paint on that open steel, so try and prevent whatever rust I can. Let that dry for a little bit and go to town. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut the other side, which I haven't done. So, note I had to take off the bumper stops on both sides. So they're going on this side and they're going on the inside. Over here on the pad, that's the driver's side. The braces go on the outside or excuse me, the toe loops, and then there's braces for each one of these holes on either side. The larger one goes on the outside, and the little hook right here points backwards, and then the smaller one goes on the inside, and the point goes backwards. All right, here we go. So, we got this side on. You can see daylight through our half inch at the top. 7 16 here. We have a little screw that provides here, and then down here we go through that brace and through the frame, put a nut on it under. And then we have the small one on the inside, and we have the half inch up at the top and the 7 16 here. So you can see they slide right into these pieces on either side of the frame, and then put them together. On the driver's side, they slid right in for me, but on the passenger side, I had to hammer in the outside one. You know, tap it with a screwdriver and hammer to get it fit in there just right. It was really tight, which is good. So now we'll put the bolts on all loose and we'll see what we end up looking like. All right, dry fit complete. So we're just gonna go over this real quick so the these guys go on the outside. The toe loops. The small brace goes in the middle or in inside, and the large brace goes on the outside. When you're putting this first bolt in, put that in first because it doesn't fit with the washer if you try and put the toe loop on first. So put that boot bolt through. Then put on your toe loops with the additional two bolts. Uh, I have these here just to hold it in place right the second before I tighten it down. The only piece that I'm missing left to put on outside of tightening down is the four washers. They go on the posts for the bumper. And I have those over here. Now all the original hardware for the tow loops is replaced. I only used hardware from the brace plates. And that is how we all fit in. So I'm going to tighten all this down and then we'll move on. Okay, I know it on the tow loops when you're trying to get them in here. And we have this bolt right here, which you're supposed to get through this hole. If you take these two out, this bottom plate comes down and you can fit a ratchet all the way up in there instead of trying to get a wrench up in this hole to hold that nut. Mine ended up stripping the threads or something ended up happening and I got a new bolt and put it through here and then held it with a ratchet through the bottom and I got these two bolts. It also helps if you drop something in this hole, you can get it out through the bottom. Note, it's going to look a little different because I'm going to have a separate video I'm going to put together here in a second. Because I also have the Maximus 3 winch plate. And we're going to put that all on at the same time. Okay, so we have areas marked. They're 80 millimeters in, 440 from the center. 884 between the two, so I'm gonna mark them and drill them, and hopefully, we're good. We're gonna have double steel to go through, 
because we have a hole right here. We're gonna have to hit this. Holes drilled. Make sure there's a lot of metal shards that get everywhere. Make sure you get your vacuum out and take those all up. You wanna get them in feet or tires or anything else like that. On to cutting with the grinder and we'll cut straight down. All right. Go, hole's done. Let's put this on and see what happens. Those holes are just about right on. There, ah, they come out from this angle. So, good measurements. Okay, we got the bumper on. Next thing we need to do is cut the skid plate. And the measurements are pretty much exactly the same. They're 440 millimeters off center. So we'll go ahead and mark that on the skid plate. Okay, we got it measured out, marked with the grease. Did a dry fit underneath and it lined up nicely. So now we cut. As a note, when you're starting to drill these, you need to have one of these kind of punches or at least a punch. And on this guy, you now put it on that hole and you push it and then it clicks and puts a little dent. And I'll do that a few times so that I can start the drill bit on this guy so he doesn't waver around a whole bunch stays right there in that center hole where I'm trying to hit. So use a punch, get yourself a little dent started, then you can put the drill bit in there and get a nice cut along your measurements. Okay, so we got them cut. Not the prettiest, but I'll paint them up a little bit and then you won't be able to tell, I hope. And it's underneath anyway, but I tried using that hole saw, but because it's curved and because it's such thick metal that drill bit would catch and break every time and just throw it all over the place so I ended up just using a grinder with a cutter wheel and cut it off but that's also why it doesn't look great so so now I'm going to take a little grinding sharpening blade and then make it all smooth around the edges and paint it and then we'll uh, hook it up right, so here we have our finished product you see these line up pretty good. Skid plates on. We ignore the seven pin and the breakaway switch to us for towing video. But we have it all up and looking good. And if we step back, you know, they're really up nice and high. So it doesn't really create much of a clearance problem. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.